everybody, welcome to a new video, a quick one where we will be going over the uh, basic settings of the Cadence Cloud plugin. This is a paid plugin, so you have to have the Cadence Pro package to be able to use it. Um, what's the use of this plugin? You can use it to create your own cloud. You have to host it on a, on a website or a subdomain, for example. You can put whatever content you want inside of that cloud. You can have it a, give it a category, give it a specific uh, keyword, whatever works for you. And then afterwards, when you create an other website, a new website, you can connect to your own cloud and then you can import all the content or some of the content to speed up your workflow, for example. So everything you ever created, you can actually put in the cloud and then you can access it later on. And if you think, oh, I like this design, I might use something similar in another project. You can just access it from your cloud and then adjust everything uh, as necessary. But you have your building blocks ex um, immediately ready, for example. Um, so how does this go? You can, of course, you can also make uh, just as the cadence uh, when you insert uh, or you work with cadence, you may, might have noticed that you also have a cadence library where you have free and paid uh, items. This is also, of course, is something you can do with this cloud where you create a free and a paid uh, paid uh, content section, and then you can have users uh, buy your uh, paid. Um, paid version, um, but this is not something we will be going over in this video, maybe in the next one. In this one it will be with the free, uh, so people can access it and it will be for free, for example. But you still have the control because you create the access keys and you can uh, make sure that nobody else uh, without the access key can access your clouds. So this is the cloud library on the left side. You see it is installed. We are going to be able to create a new one. Um, cloud settings first, let's see. This is going to be the, let me remove this one. Yeah. Um, this is going to be the connection URL, so people will need this. This is just a uh, not a real website; it's just a demo website. Eh? But you will be using your URL for the for the connection, and then you have to cre create an access key. If you click on generate key, you can create different ones, and they will all be randomized. Uh, but you can also click on one and then uh, go more specific, and you can make a, a custom one. So you can say a free key for clients, whatever. Eh? So you can call this whatever you want, and you can also select collect. Um, you will see in a minute what I mean by this. Let's me cl first click on uh, save. Um, by general, you can set a cloud name. If you don't, it will use the website title. Uh, so I have created a name here. You can say which uh, resync time you want. You can have one day, one week or one month. This means that if they open up their Cadence Cloud, if you have uh, access, given access to other people, then every day it will refresh. Uh, if you have put out new content, they will automatically see the new content without manually having to click on the refresh button. Enable API flash for screen search, screenshots. Whoa. If you click on this, you will uh, have the ability to fill in a flash key. You click on this link here, it will open up a website. You can create a free uh, plugin, the free account. This enables you to create 100 screenshots uh, a month and then it will be able to generate uh, screenshots just by the, with the click of a button. So this is uh, useful if you want to. Um, but I'm not going to go over this. It's really simple. You just create an account. You will see your uh, key or your um, API key and then you just push paste it in here and it will work. Okay. So let me see. So you can add collections and categories and keywords from for here from here. So what I can do is create a free collection at new and I can make a paid collection, for example, or private collection. For example, just uh, doing something categories, you can say I want to have a header like a header section, um, maybe a content section you can also have a um, let's see a logo section for example and then keywords this is more this is optional um, but it could be when the when they search in the search bulk and um, you create logo you create a header so you can make the same ones you can just put in whatever you want and then this, this will help narrow down when they search if we then go to cloud libraries and we're going to create a new one we can make a logo slider to start with for example make a row layout like this we're going to use two columns to start with. We're going to put in a gallery. 
like this and we're going to select some images you see i've already imported a lot of uh, some images and gallery insert like this we're going to have uh, maybe three columns like maybe use this one we're gonna set a little bit wider of a cutter 29 30 large medium large is fine we're gonna use the autoplay one one no no arrows outline dark maybe like this and then we're going to add, add some text here maybe something like partners like this we can go to the, the row layout and we're going to say inherit inner width from the team publish publish so we have our logo slider created what we, what i have to do now with library items is go over here and you will see the collections that i've just made and the categories that i've just made so i want to put this in the free version and i want to have a category of logo attached to it and keywords you, i have created logo so you will see it will pop up like this um, so this uh, is something that has a uh, Featured image you can set up here. Let's just do like this. If you don't, you can also um, click on update, go out. You can also you see the image here. If you have created the API uh, key, then there will be an option here to click on a button, and then it will generate a uh, screenshot of your section as well. But now I've done it manually. Okay. So now I have a logo slider title. It in the collection free and it's uh, in the category logo. Why, why do I create collections? If I go back to my settings, I go to my access keys, I click on this little uh, icon again. You can now say select collections free. So this means that uh, everything inside of the free collection will be accessible if they have this access key. I can also create a new um, private key call this one private key and then I can here now you will see there is no option because there is nothing inside of my private library but if I have a new cloud library uh, uh, made with a with a private attached to it I can select instead of free private here and then this is going to be all the stuff for me privately and I don't want my clients for example to see it this is why you can create collections let's click on save let me go to a second website just a demo website let me go out of this let me just go to the page sample page and you see here the design library if you don't see this you, that means you don't have the cadence blocks plugin installed then you should first do this this is a free plugin but you need it to be able to access your cloud so this is a different website now if i click on design library you see the cadence one is here and then here you can already see these are all categories that we've also created uh, that enable you to filter between all your um, specific things you will see here the pro and pro without that says you need something else to be able to use this this is also something you can do yourself but again in this video we will be just using the free stuff and then later on i can show you how you can create something like this click on the plus connect your url we will find this over here let's copy this access key the free one free key for clients let's copy this one and let's paste this one at connection and you will see easy vp tricks cloud has been found and you see here on the left hand side the category all and then also logo why are the other ones header and footer and content not inside because there is nothing attached to it so empty items will not be displayed uh, this is not changing anything of course because there is only one item and you see it uses the title logo slider that i've used and it's also using the image that i've set up if i click on this you will see here on the bottom it imports a row layout with the team content inner width already enabled because i've set this up like this and then we have the two columns let me open it here two columns with in one the gallery with the images as well uh, imported so this is something that helps you create uh, websites way faster if i open this up you see it's inserted inside here just like i've created it on my other website yeah of course this is not looking nice because i'm just using the sample page i have no idea which uh, settings are uh, used here and i think it's not even the cadence team that's installed here so that's why it's looking a little bit strange but just to show you let me go back make a new library now um 
let's uh, call this the header section uh, again row layout one column let's add a background image with a little bit of a height on it i'm just going to go quite fast over this just for demo purposes let's add some text in the middle let's make it big and a bit more white let's write something testing my cloud like this so let's now add a little background overlay maybe a little bit darker so my white text is a bit more readable click on publish and again don't forget to add them to something here so if i add it to the free version and i use a header and content category here uh, and click on update then I can back, go back to the other side. If I again open this up, you see it's not here yet because it uh, hasn't refreshed yet. It's only going to do it once a day automatically. So I can click on this manual refresh button and then you see it's getting uh, inserted here. I haven't put in a image, so it says generating preview, but there is no uh, image like here. So I can uh, do this here. Set featured image, click on update and then maybe refresh again and now you see immediately it's uh, imported and what do you also see header and content are now also here if i click on it you see only my content and also uh, my header because the logo one uh, is uh, only uh, containing this one at the moment okay and you can also see i have now two libraries the default cadence one you will always see and then my custom one but you see you can keep connecting to different ones as well um, so this is my free uh, free version for clients. If I click on it, you see it imports it and you see again that it's using the same uh, overlay, same text, the same size. So everything is imported like I have created it. If I now go to my private settings, if I say I also want some content to be a private uh, section, just going to give it a name for the sake of a name. Let's use a, a row layout again. I'm just going to do something. Let's create a advanced text, private header. Let's use an uh, image. Let's use one of those, just import it. And I go to library items. I'm gonna add this to my private collection now. And I'm gonna set this is also content and click on publish. Now you will see if I refresh, my design library, easy whip tricks. If I refresh, you will see it's not included here. Why is that? Because my access key is only using the free version. So the free ones are displayed, but the private collection is not included inside of this key. And this is the key that I've used on this website here. So that's why you can keep collections private depending on which key. I have another one, the private key, and this one lets me go to the private one. This one gives access to the private library. If I open up the same website, I can again, the private key, and then go to the URL, add connection. You will see now I have both of my libraries here. I have once the free version and here I have my private version. So you see with different keys, you can have one cloud library created or one website with the cloud library plugin on it, but you can create different access keys with different collections attached to them. And then like this, you can have one domain that you're using, but you can have different content for different people, depending on which restrictions you use and which uh, access keys are uh, attached to it. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have any uh, problems with it, let me know. Sometimes uh, I have had problems using this with SiteGround because of the security. It has to be able to access the website, of course. If it's not able to access the website because of a firewall, it might be giving you problems. Then you should, ex you should ask uh, your hosting provider if there is anything or your security plugin, check if there is anything blocking it, but otherwise it should work perfectly fine. Okay, good luck with it. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.